Alright, so you guys want some updates? Here's some updates. Look who's back in the corral. The Craftsman Crawler. I just pulled this thing out of hibernation in the lean-to next door. And it had plastic still covering the motor and there was a mouse nest in there, so I gotta take this thing apart and really clean it out. I'm thinking about putting that back in the service. I have a few little plans for that. Um, that should be coming up in a little while. So the mud mower for Paul, I haven't really done anything on that since the last update. Um, that's still chilling here in the workshop in the same state it was at the end of the last video, update number three. Um, so hopefully we'll do some more work on that soon. I just haven't been really motivated to work on this thing at all. Don't really know why, just haven't been. Um, but the main focus of today's video is the Murray. And there have been some big changes with this guy here. Also put a cool little van seat here in the garage that I had uh, on the other side. Actually, it was sitting on top of the Craftsman Crawler. So we're making use of that. It's kind of like a little couch here in the garage so we can chill out while we're building. So I guess the number one reason I'm getting to work here on the Murray and not really focusing on anything else at the moment is because this tractor is in working condition. And I kind of just want to do some upgrades, not so much die-hard fabrication right now being in the middle of summer. Um, so I've just been kind of toying with this thing. But before we get into that, the reason I've been doing all this is because my good old buddy old pal, Street Legal Carts, he's been back at it again. So uh, he's getting back to work on the Mud King build. If you guys haven't checked him out before, you should check him out now. He's back to work on that. Putting out videos regularly and he's got some really cool ideas. Some of which are actually coming up, uh, I think in his next video or two, you would really like to check out. I've never seen anyone do some of the things he's planning on doing to a lawnmower. So be sure to check him out. But, but enough of that. Let's check out the Murray. So I still want to change out the front tires. I haven't gotten around to doing that yet. Um, but like I said, I'm just improving some things. And as you can see, the first major change as of right now is the battery is in the front. Well, not really in the front, but it's in front of me now instead of under the seat. And I did that for better weight distribution. Front to rear, I wanted to keep more weight up in the front so it keeps it uh, more unlikely to tip over. Not that it's going to make a huge difference, but it'll help a little bit. So I went ahead and rewired everything. I got new wires in here with a cover and the ground's all hooked up. This is just a mock-up battery right now, so it doesn't really work. It's just kind of in here, but it's in this plastic tray, which will stay. But the way this thing is held all together is there's actually a hole drilled in this box tube steel that runs the length from the front to the back. And this bolt is welded into this flat steel, which is a tie-down. I'll show you the other side here in a second. And it basically locks this thing into position so it doesn't slide back and forth. Here on the other side, you can see there's just a little 3 8 bolt that kind of bolts the whole thing down in. And this piece of flat steel just kind of comes across the battery and bolts down. And it can't go backwards because of this piece. It can't go forwards because of the dashboard. And once we get it all wired up, it'll work. But I got to get a new battery because this is a shitty Walmart battery. And I'm going to get myself like a Die Hard or an Interstate or something like that. Something that won't die. So at first glance you may not notice the new clutch pedal here, but it is completely different now. The old one used to come out, bend at a 45, and then come straight out. And it was lower by two and a half inches. And since I put the stronger spring in the clutch that I did custom underneath the tractor, it was a lot harder to push because of the leverage. So what I did was I extended the pedal by two and a half inches, and now your foot has much easier leverage. And you can see the clutch pedal is not actually mounted perfectly straight, it's mounted at a slight angle. And the reason I did that is because when you sit on one of these tractors, you're not, you know, sitting directly in line with the clutch pedal. Your leg kind of comes off at an angle like this. So, you know, it's more ergonomically correct to have it in that direction, you know, just for the sake of being comfortable while you're riding these things. So in the back, now that the battery's gone and there's a giant gaping hole under the seat, I decided to redo my springs because the old ones were a little squishy and you'd bought them out really easy. So I extended them way out to the back and they're a lot stiffer than they were and I had to extend it with pieces of box steel off the sides of the seat mount um, but it works pretty good. It's pretty stiff but you guys see how I drive this thing so once I get romping on it I'm sure it'll be just about perfect. But now that we got the giant gaping hole underneath the seat we have to do something with that. So I got a little ahead of myself here. I should have gotten the camera a little sooner but I dropped a piece of aluminum diamond plate down in the bottom left over from the racing mower build and I've also got a piece of steel mesh from the racing mower build this is an extra piece and I've decided I need to build some sort of storage trunk 
in the back of this thing under the seat. So I wish I would have gone in and grabbed the camera sooner when I started chipping away on things, but one thing just sort of led to another and led to another, and here we are in the middle of it, but whatever, we'll pick up right here, and uh, we're going to finish up building the trunk, and then we're going to go ahead and make a few changes to the shifter. So there, just like that, the trunk is pretty much finished, the main part of it anyways. I welded up both sides there, as you can see. I didn't weld across the top and back because I wanted to still be able to remove my fenders and body assembly if I need to at some point. It wouldn't have been possible if this was all welded, so I left that alone. But check this out. I just found this ammo box. It's one of those short ones. And it actually fits down in here absolutely perfectly. And then sneaks under this little lip here. It was meant to be there. And you got the piece of chain. Everything's got a nice little home now. I might make a lid for that or something at some point, but I guess I don't really need to. I'm not going to carry anything real special in there, so it's pretty sweet. Now let's move on to the shifter. Now, there's nothing really wrong with the shifter. I like it perfectly fine, but I always find myself holding it like this then I hold it like this. So I think what I kind of want to do is do like a T style shifter but maybe off at an angle sort of. So kind of like the clutch pedal is, just you know more ergonomically correct. So I'm gonna try to come up with something, maybe not necessarily a T, but something that comes out to the side that I can just grab like that. That would be pretty cool. But I'll dig around in the scrap metal pile and see what I can come up with. Alright, so after only a few minutes of digging around in my scrap metal pile, I think I found something that'll work. I can slide this over the existing shifter the, the sleeve of it and I think I can take this thing which is like a lug wrench from a car like one of those factory ones and I'm going to cut it off like here and then it's got that kind of ergonomic handle I was sort of talking about it's sort of bent and it's strong and this thing fits right inside so if I cut this off in here somewhere I can splice it together by sliding this onto the existing shifter sliding this shifter into this piece of collar welding it all together in one nice big congealed mess and everything should be happy. So here's how it's all going to come together. This is basically going to slide over this, get welded. This is going to come up in here. You see it's a little loose, but that's all right. Um, I can fill that in with welding material and I'm sure it'll be strong enough. But now I can adjust to where I want this thing and I can even adjust in and out a little bit. So I'm going to test fit where I want it, do some tack welds real quick, and then we'll weld her up solid. Let's try it out! So while we're waiting for that guy to cool off, I've just been messing around with other stuff and I actually tightened the spring on the clutch because this clutch pedal is so awesome and it makes it so easy to push this clutch. I figured why not go a little stronger with it. Huh. So yeah, that's pretty cool. I'm glad with uh, the progress I made today. Clutch pedal, battery relocation, and wired up. The new trunk which is pretty sweet. I don't know what I'm going to put in this little box, but probably tools and parts and stuff like that, maybe simple stuff. The shifter handle, I'm not going to touch it yet because it's still probably really hot, but I think that'll be pretty sweet. Small touches that make things nice. And the springs, it'll be nice not bottoming out anymore on the seat because these things have no suspension, but I run low tire pressure, but still, it'll be nice having springs that absorb a good amount of shock before I uh, bottom these things out. So I'm pretty happy with today's progress. I can't wait to get a new battery for this thing, get that hooked up in there, and maybe get some new front tires and stuff like that. But yeah, I'm feeling pretty good about what's happened here. I like the trunk. I think it'll be nice having the battery up front for better weight distribution, and the stronger clutch is always good because who doesn't want more friction in the water? 
and you know everything being more ergonomical is kind of cool so yeah like I said uh, look out for more updates on this thing soon because I want to get cracking on this make sure it's everything I want it to be so hopefully when Street Legal Carts gets his thing going we can go romping and do some cool videos but yeah keep an eye out for more updates on everything and uh, we'll see you around